Hello and welcome back to Happy Rain, another episode. So, to sum up some thoughts that I have right now. So the police is thinking that I'm Ethan is the origami killer and that's why, uh, why they are observating us and try to get us. But Ethan got the third riddle, but doesn't have that much letter for the full address of his son. His son is droning like hell because it's close to the neck, as we saw in the last video. Uh, Madeline, how was she called? The, the, the photographer girl just rescued us because it's, she's our archangel and is helping us like her. So, what the hell is going on? So, we are on the run right now as Ethan and the girl and they are looking for us. The police is looking for us. I'm so confused. What's going on? And I don't even know because of the some of the letters that we will receive. All the stuff with the fourth origami. I... But I'm going to mess it up that much. Anyhow, let's continue and welcome back. Hey. From the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami, the origami killer is Mars. Ethan Mars. No, we are not the origami killer. That's bullshit. Be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. That's nonsense. That's bullshit. You had all the stuff. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Yeah, th that's fine. But seriously, uh, did someone follow you? You followed me. You followed me. Well, in that kind, okay. I wanted to know. To know what? You were all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? No, it is not. Are you the killer, Ethan? No, no, no! I want to get my son. Evade? Confined? I... Sometimes have these blackouts, but times where I don't know what I'm doing. But your son, you're As trying to rescue son. Someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. So you are. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? To get back my son? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? <laughs> and tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns... Yeah, I just wanted to say that, that you're schizophrenic? Go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. So you are. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. Seriously, you are the Rogami killer? You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. I'm confused. There has to be another way. So are you or are you not? I don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice. So it's like Fight Club? That you're to totally Please, schizophrenic? Jason. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. 
if you want to help me, leave. What the hell is going on? Tell me, please, game. Don't do this to me. So you are? Let's go to the last trial. Take the next one. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Kill him. Send a picture. Get your reward. Why are you doing this? That's such a plot twist. What the hell is going on? Play along. What's up with you? You're drowning. Drowning yourself with alcohol. That's fine. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied. Kind of. Mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? On point. Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. But he's not. Maybe not he is. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I have the faintest know. fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Well then, let's do it. Oh, one last thing, sir. Yes. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very be dangerous. dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. Usually, it'll end up killing yeah. you if you're not careful. I'm trying. I'm trying to. That Thank would you. Be most unfortunate, sir. Thank you for the information. Carry on. So, what evidence do we have? Come on, pick your brain, your lens, and tell me. There we go. Now, let's get it together. So, let's take the clues first. Well, well, looks like there's something new. The video what? recording from near the park on the afternoon showing Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. You never know, so let's check it out. Yeah. So, uh, analyze. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. 
went in the opposite direction of 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Don't know. Anything else? Tire tracks? Maybe? Origami figurines? Let's check everything out. Because I'm kind of confused. What's going on? Yeah, well, okay, that, that that's fine. We we don't we we know that one. Ah, uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. So let's see. Anything we can see? The car was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Not enough evidence. Okay, so what else do we have? The driver's license? Check it on no driver's license. Jackson Neville, aka Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. What? That's all? Uh, you were... Uh, where? Uh, how did you get here? One last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in the you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit. It's... It's coming. Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. Fuck that shit. We are not going to take this. This is going to kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. Let's do something. No! 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 I tried to avoid it. Why did he do it? What the f And you're dead. Are you? No. You were our last evidence. Oh, Shelby, Shelby, please do anything. Please. Why is it that dark? Two point three three two inches. With my new partner, huh? Manfred? Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Hello? What's going on? Do we have to see here anything? No, there are just typewriters and... Chroma? What was that meeting with Charles Kramer at the golf club really about? Why is he so worried about me investigating his son? Lauren? Lauren? Shot for her. I was crazy to let her come with me. She's trying to help out, but she just gets in the way. I'll have to talk to her later. Shot? Nothing much changed here. Just the dust in the clocks ticking on and on. Hey. Hi there, Manfred. Huh. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott. Oh, yes, of course. Well, it's good to see you. What's up? How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. 
my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. That's coming. How about you? Are you still with the police? No, 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 no. No, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. No. Hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. Let's have a drink. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. So let's have a look at his files, maybe. No, surely no. Telephone. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. It's on the left side. Oh, come on. Get over here. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. I don't think that was a mistake, wasn't it? Let's grab a scotch, shall we? Well, to old friends. Go! Come on. <sighs> Young lady. <laughs> it's a Stradelli, crafted in Venice in the 18th century. Mm. It's one of my favorite. Do you want to have it? Tell me, Scott, what brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Oh. Well, let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. So this is a counter, so there is a magnifying glass. Okay. <laughs> Let's grab it and get over here. So tell me, here it is. Tell me something. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Not that much here, huh? No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. How many people do have a Royal Five? Tell me. Rare? These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. Oh. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or, or in their cellar. Clients repair. Are there many places around that could repair one of these? I bought the company's entire stock as spare parts for a song in uh, 64. Well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> okay. So you know Anybody something about it. Anybody here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. So... Did you have clients? Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I can get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. 
Thank you. If you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Nice. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Thank you. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. Thank you. Thank you. That's a good point. You think the killer's been here? Yes. If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. You really appreciate this little thing, huh? You like it, huh? Headaches. So let's see. Uh, wait. We're going to the back. Maybe he has some problems. I'm curious. Hello. Well, Manfred. Hello. Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir. Hello. What the fuck is going on? Let's get the fuck out of here. Scott? Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so then get the fuck out of here. Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. How? Oh, what did I touch? Lauren. Shit, 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 shit. So that's... Where, where is that thingy? Here, come on. Anything else? Did I touch? Oh, the, the glasses. I, I touched the glasses as well. Um, no, 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 no. Not this one. Not this one. This is stupid. So, um, I touched this one. And the magnifying glass. I touched the magnifying glass. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry, 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 uh, this one, I didn't touch the bottle, did I? No, I, I didn't, so that should be it, so just leave, or did I touch anything else? No, I didn't, as far as I know, I didn't, so let's get the hell out of here. Come on. Manfred, Lauren, memory. Where did we leave the prince? Gotta remember. Fast. Uh, prince? Quick. Gotta find everything Lauren and I touched since we came in here. W what did she touch as well? Don't know. What else? What else? Manfred? Poor old man. Oh, the telephone! I, I touched the telephone. Exactly, I touched the telephone. Come on. I'm hurrying. Okay, we are done. Anything else? I, I, I don't think so. Time? I'm running out of time. Gotta move faster. Leave. 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 That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Yes. Got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. Did she touch anything? I don't know. Did I? I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I touched the telephone and I cleaned the telephone, didn't I?
So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. Huh? A few minutes later. Did I, I miss something? Okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shell. <gasps> oh no, Lauren touched the telephone. Oh fuck. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there. Oh shit. Damn it. Hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead Lauren bodies, touched the telephone to call the police. I totally okay. forgot about that. Fuck. 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 Shit. Well, well, Scott Shelby. In trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. I know what it's like. Uh, Don't sweat. I'll take care. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. This is the only thing I missed. Anything at the moment? Damn it. <sighs> well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you tell me about it. Sure. Damn it, we wasted tons of time just because I forgot something. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We are partners, remember? We had a deal. Not a game. This isn't a game, Lauren. Manfred was murdered because he knew the identity of the killer. He was ten feet away, for Christ's sake. No. I can't take a chance on the killer getting that close to me. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I want to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Cruel, annoyed. I don't say anything. Stop the car. Wait. Fuck that shit. <laughs> that was too intense. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's go back to the game. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Just throw it away. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Wait, what? You don't know what to do. Come back. Remorse. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. Protect. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. Lauren. Lauren. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. I'm not standing. I can't just leave her like She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Okay, let's get out of. Lauren! Come on. Such an idiot. I better catch up with her. I miss him. <sighs> I miss him so much. Do anything to hold him once again in my arms. Shelter. I'm kind of soft hearted. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it away. Damn this game. Uh, you have unlocked new pills. Yeah, nice. Thank you.
Nice to know. What the hell is going on? Thursday, 11 a.m. 15. 3.3.6 .6 inches. No, it's not. It's just 3.366 inches. Wait. Oh, wait. I have to kill someone. Hello? Hello? Wait, wait. I said a thousand times that I don't want Oh, to I have to. If you want to score, man, you got to fucking call first. Hey. Take it easy, man. No, no, no. Keep cool. Just shoot. <laughs> what do you want? So? I don't want to know anything about you. Don't Just have to kill you to get the numbers. Sure we can make oh, a shit. Deal, huh? Am I really saying that? Come on, come on. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Holy Come on, please don't don't be don't be the callous Holy shit it's kinda aggressive One Sarah and a little one. I'm just cold blooded. Please, man. I want to see them again. I'm already cold blooded. Please, please don't shoot. <laughs> I'm a father, too. I'm cold blooded. No choice. <laughs> Why am I doing this? What is this game doing to me? Send proof. Yes. Oh fuck. What is this game doing to me? Crip. Do it again. That's missing. I told you that those four riddles are not the last part. That they are not the last part what we have to do to save our son, because there are too much letters just for those four riddles.
and I'm so cold hearted. Cold blood. Yes, I'm a killer. I am a killer and have I I have to live with that. And I have to live with that till the next episode. So thank you for watching and if you had fun with this episode, toss me a like and spread some love in the comments. Oh maybe more. So talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.